on today's video, we're going to find out why the oil pressure gauge on my gauge cluster is not working. In a previous video, I tried to take the dash apart and fix it. It was unsuccessful, didn't find the problem, figured I'd do it at a different time. Today we're going to go after it and see if we can figure it out. So how the oil pressure gauge works is there's a ground wire coming off of the back of the gauge that goes out to the engine down to where the oil sending unit is and it just connects on top. And as the oil pressure increases, it slowly closes that gap and you can read a voltage change on the gauge and that's what's showing you the different pressure. They've got that figured out and what pressure equals what voltage, but we don't have to worry about that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to ground this wire and see if the wiring from here all the way to the gauge, if there's, a, if there's a broken connection or something like that, I wouldn't have any continuity. So let's do that first and see if we can trace it from there. So here we got, we're looking at the oil pressure gauge on my dash and that orange needle in there, when I ground that uh, oil sending unit wire, that needle should move across the face of that gauge. So let's turn the car on and, uh, and we'll go uh, plug that wire into the ground. Okay, the wire is grounded and it's not moving. It's not moving, but huh, the water temperature gauge needle is moving. Um, let's look at that. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Okay, so that's part of the problem I was having that the oil, <laughs> that the temperature gauge is wired up to my oil sending unit. Okay. So now we're back over here looking at the oil temperature gauge, or the oil pressure gauge. I'm going to take the terminal off of the, temp the water temperature sending unit underneath, you know, on, that's, that's located on the intake manifold. And I'm going to ground that wire and see if this needle moves. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so... That tells me that um, I've got some wires crossed. Here, let me take that ground off first. Okay, so I'm guessing that uh, when the car was painted, somebody painted this car, painted the, the dash black and stuff like that, they took this out, uh, took out the, the, the dash, the gauge cluster out to do that, and I'm guessing they didn't hook the wires back up correctly. So I can go ahead and pull this off and uh, put the correct wire on the correct gauge. Also, I got some new bulbs for these blinker lights and stuff because they're kind of dim, so that's a good opportunity to, to switch those bulbs out. Let's do that. All right, uh, in my previous video too, I also pointed out how the screws weren't in here and that this thing was being held in by some double-sided sticky tape and like one screw. Um, so hopefully we can get this thing back out. And so. Yeah, just remove this, just move this tack just out of the way just a little bit. Loosen up this mount, slide that down. Now this will come out easier. We've only got one screw <laughs> holding this in, so we'll take that one out. And then what's keeping this from coming out is the speedometer cable, so we got to take that off the back. All right, after looking a little deeper into this, the wires on the back are wired correctly. There's a, there's a, for the oil pressure gauge, there's a white wire with a red stripe, and for the water temperature gauge, it's a red wire with a white stripe. So, looking at the wiring diagram for the car, so the wires are correct in here. I just went and looked underneath the hood, and. Sometime, sometime somebody rewired underneath there and you can see the wires coming out of the firewall the, rec the correct color and they tapped into them but they sent the, the wire to the wrong signals in there. So we can leave this wiring the way it is because it's correct back behind the, the gauge cluster. We just need to fix it underneath the hood. Um, but while I'm here, let's go ahead and see if I can put those bulbs in these blinkers and see if that'll help. So this is what they look like. That's the regular bulb, and these are the these are LED bulbs that are supposed to be brighter. Hopefully, they're not too bright. Um, so let's put one of those in here and see if that'll work.
that's not going to work. This just came right off. In fact, that wouldn't have worked anyways. Um, no. Alright. Note to self, don't try to go the cheap route, just get good bulbs. So we'll just put the regular ones back in here and figure it out for another time. Now I gotta put the speedometer cable back on. That's the hard part. We got that uh, speedometer cable hooked back up. Um, I didn't film that because I have to reach your arm underneath the dash and reach in there, and it's kind of a pain to get get even get the camera set so you can see what's going on. And, and I might have said some words that we probably shouldn't say on YouTube, so it's probably for the best. And right now I only have the one screw holding it in. I'm going to have to address that later get that, get that figured out. It's not how I like it, but uh, I'm going to save it for another video. And then we can put this put the tack back where it was. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, let's head back into the engine bay and we'll fix the wiring in there that's got the, the wires crossed. So this is the wire loom that's going to have the wires in it. So we got the oil sending unit wire down here. And here is, on this engine, where the water temperature sensor is plugged in. And I can tell right off the bat that it's too many splices wire in here. And let's cut this off. Yeah, see this is that. Okay, so the red wire, or the white wire with the red stripe actually goes to the oil sending unit. So somebody wired this wrong. And that means that this wire is gonna be incorrect. A red wire with a white stripe is what it's supposed to be going to the water temperature sensor. I'm guessing the other wire in here is the one that's going to the yeah, it's going to the coil. And that one seems to be working fine. I know that the the dash or that the tack is working. And I bet you that's what that wire is for, is to get the signal off of the tack. Get this loom out of the way. All right, fast forward. I uh, had to go to the parts store to get the new water temperature sending unit. So we're gonna put this back here in the intake manifold. Um, and then because this wire was on the water temperature sensor, this is not the right connector for the oil sending unit. I actually need one of these type. So um, what we'll do is we'll just, we'll use this for the right wire and, sorry, the water temperature sending unit needs this kind of connector. The old one has the spade type of connector, which isn't going to work for us. So that's why I had to get this wire and I, did, I needed to get a new one of these. Now we've got the right wire for the temp sensor, but I can't connect this to there because it's at the wrong terminal. That's okay, because we're gonna swap that out with the right piece anyways. Now this is the tricky part. Um, I didn't drain the coolant in here, and I don't want to if I can help it. So I'm thinking I could just unthread this and put the new one in pretty quickly without losing too much coolant. Um, and so we'll give that a try. This might be a fool's errand. Um, <laughs> Trying to take this out and get the new piece in before the coolant leaks everywhere. Um, 
might be a waste of time. So wish me luck. No, oh. no, well, that's not a big deal. I thought they were gonna have coolant come out of there. You know what? That's oil. That's not. Oh, I thought that was the. I thought that was the. Yeah, that's oil. Okay, so this is probably an oil temperature sensor. You can just go ahead and leave that in there for now. Um, that means that I don't have a water temp place for this. So, um, okay, let's figure that out. I think I found this is where this we can take this off and get to the coolant here. Um, back there, I think what I found was uh, maybe an air intake temperature because there's no oil back there. It's just oily, maybe just from dirty air and uh, fuel and whatnot going through there. But um, definitely, definitely not oil. So let's try this terminal here and see if we can get this off. But first, we got to get this out of the way. Of course it doesn't thread in. Um, great. Well, we'll just have to, um, this, I wonder if this was the old temperature sensor system. And, uh, yeah, cause this one's definitely not thread in there. Um, maybe I can take that off. There we go. All right. Like a glove. All right, get these out of the way. Yeah, we spilled some coolant, but that's okay. We can clean that up. All right, we can start putting this stuff back together. So now that new wire that we had to make actually works out pretty good because it's going to reach right to where we want it to go. There, now we can put the loom back on. All right, from here, I think we can fire it up and see if everything works. Turn the car to on. Fuel gauge is working. All right, so let's start it up. And now the temp is working now that it's been running for a while. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. All right, that worked out. All right, well that worked out pretty good. We were able to get the new water temperature sensor put in, which I didn't even know that we needed, um, but we figured that out. Got both of the gauges working. Uh, found that I've got what looks like an air temperature uh, sending unit or something back there in the back of the manifold. So um, it's not working because I wasn't getting a signal on the, the gap, the dash, at least that's not the signal it's looking for, so it might be working, I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm just going to leave that thing plugged for now, and we'll, uh, we'll take advantage of it later on if we need to. Other than that, uh, car's ready to go. Um, I'm happy. All the gauges are working. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one. Hi. 
My name's Andy. I'm gonna find out what's wrong with my oil sending unit gauge. Or... Now the time. Uh... And in today's video, we're gonna find out why the oil pressure. Come on. <laughs> You're making me look bad on YouTube. Cut this off, and we'll we'll splice in this one so that it reaches down here. Actually. I was wrong. No, this one. Come on. This wasn't as big a mess as I thought it was going to be.